I'm safely in my car. Just took off my mask. You guys, I'm so excited. I just did a Sephora shopping trip and it has been weeks, okay, months since I've been to Sephora and I am like, ah! <laughs> hallelujah. I'm walking on air. Sephora is one of my favorite stores on the planet. Uh, whenever I work on cruise ships, whenever I'm in port in Miami, I have to go to Sephora. I have all the makeup I need for getting on stage and looking good in bright lights. They have everything I could possibly ever want to make my face look impeccable because a lot of lights will melt your makeup off. I would get off the ship in Miami once a week when we were in port. I would get an Uber, go straight to Sephora. They have all the makeup I could possibly need and they have so much knowledge. So I would say, hey, I need a concealer that doesn't melt under really hot lights or with sweating because you know, you're on stage a lot. And I would sweat and then the makeup would just come off. It was a disaster. So. Being able to go to Sephora after all this time feels like homecoming. <laughs> I'm gonna walk around the corner here. There's a sweet little coffee shop right over here. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a what's in my bag. Y'all, it's been way too long. I am so excited to show you what I got. You know it's a good day at Sephora when you get the big bag. <laughs> this bag had some weight to it. Some of my favorite things, coffee and makeup, and before you do anything else, first, coffee. All right, let's dig into this bag. Oh, and I did not save the best for last. I am starting with... <laughs> Maybe my favorite thing in the bag. Okay, so I just have to say, I've been a Chanel perfume fan for years. I still am, but I really haven't tried a lot of other perfumes. But recently, I bought a Versace watch. I've kind of started falling in love with the Versace brand, especially because of that Greek key that they have over everything. And my family's Greek. So today when I went into Sephora, I was out of my perfume, they didn't have it, and I decided to try Versace and I kind of went nuts. I absolutely love this perfume, the Dylan Blue. So surprised. I'm extremely picky when it comes to scents and this one just took me by surprise. It's definitely a more of a musk scent but it has like a floral finish, a really light, classy, elegant smell, but truly like an exquisite smell that kind of sets it apart, something that I can wear all the time and not be overpowered by, but also make a statement with. I really, really enjoyed this perfume. Okay, Too Faced. I've been a fan of Too Faced for years. Anyone that's really into makeup is gonna love Too Faced. It's really hard to mess up when you use their products. Even if you don't think their product is perfect, it usually works pretty well. So uh, today I decided to try the Ethereal Setting Powder Translucent Powder. I've been using their compact powder for a long time, but I wanted to change it up with their translucent powder. They've got the clean little stopper there so it doesn't spill, which makes me really happy. I feel like that's a necessity with the powder. I couldn't even shut the box. I had to take a sip of coffee. All right, what's next? Oh, my new mascara. 
This is the Mansour Big Mascara from Lancome Paris. I asked a sales girl to help me find something new. It's a, a product that I've never tried before and I needed something that didn't dry out so quickly. I've been using the Too Faced BTS Mascara forever and I love it but it dries out pretty quickly. Um, she said that this one is really good. So it's a new product I've never used. Uh, new to me and I will let you know in another video how this mascara works all right what is coming up next so much good stuff in this bag oh yes <laughs> I admit I went overboard with the Versace perfumes but I am ridiculously picky when it comes to perfumes and I found three three not just one three perfumes that I absolutely loved and so I'm sampling a couple of them in addition to the Dylan blue I'm trying out the bright crystal that's this one as well as the yellow diamond that one I'll show to you in a minute um, but this has such a beautiful scent as well I got it in the travel spray I'm not a rollerball fan I don't get the same experience when I use a rollerball as I do with a spray so this is the bright crystal Versace perfume in a travel spray and it just smells so good all three of these scents were elegant refined exquisite everything that I look for in a perfume and have such a hard time finding and here is the yellow diamond Packaging. I just I, I'm just really in love with the Versace brand the packaging it's it's like ancient Greece and I just oh I love it again an amazing scent in a travel spray I just I need to have the travel spray I can't do the rollerball anymore it just doesn't smell the same to me even it's just such a different experience with the spray uh, as opposed to the rollerball. Okay, Anastasia. This is the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the color Seraphine, and I really love this lipstick. I was always pretty hit and miss with her products until I tried her liquid lipstick. Uh, one of my favorite lipsticks to wear now is the dusty rose color of this same lipstick here. Um, I wanted to try it in a different color. I've been looking for a really good red lipstick for a while. This stuff does not come off and apparently the box doesn't open either. <laughs> there we go. We got it open. That one was a little bit tricky. Uh, but this doesn't come off and it doesn't bleed onto your glassware when you're taking a drink of water or your bottle tops. I mean, maybe a tiny bit, but very, very minimally. And I really, really enjoy it. It stays on for a really long time. It looks really good. But it's not like one of those lipsticks that you have to scrub and hurt your lips to get off. So I've really been enjoying it this liquid lipstick from Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Oh yes, my foundation. Huda Beauty is one of those brands I have not used a lot before now, uh, but I tried out their long wear full coverage foundation and I fell in love with it. I really like this foundation. Uh, I work on stage a lot under hot lights and I work really hard so I sweat playing the piano sometimes and yet this foundation does not come off and it stays and looks good and not cakey for a really long time and I can even set it the second time with powder and it will still look really good. I use this a lot for stage makeup. I was running out of it and I needed, I, I literally was, I think probably used my last couple pumps in the last few days. And I'm so happy I went to Sephora when I did because I was running out of this. And this, I, guys, I gotta tell you, 
this stuff goes forever. The pump just works. For, it's, a, it's a really good pump. So really happy with my Huda Beauty foundation. What's next? Oh, my birthday gift. Happy birthday. Okay, so I'm getting my birthday gift like a month and a half late, but still, nonetheless, this is my birthday gift from Sephora, so I love it. It's one of the Beauty Insider perks that they give you when you sign up with them. So this is a little duo, a shampoo and a conditioner from Briogeo, and it's a charcoal coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo along with a Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I can't wait to tell you how it works. Insider gifts, and I'll talk to you about those in a few minutes. But first, I'm going to tell you about the Anastasia Brow Gel that I purchased. And like I said, I've been using the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter for a while. This one is tinted, and the Benefit one is a clear gel. So I'm excited to try a tinted gel that's going to be new for me. I'm going to do a review on those in a while as soon as I get used to using the pencil and gel from Anastasia. Okay, so let's talk about these beauty insider points that you get from Sephora. I love being part of this program. I chose for my free gift the Peter Thomas Roth Firm Peeling Gel. This is such a good gel exfoliant. I've used it before. It's a great deal because it's free. You're getting it with your points. Um, I also got the Keras Stace. I have not tried this for my hair. Um, and I also got the Monsoor Big Tester Mascara, the small little tester mascara. I figured since I'm trying it out in the larger size, I would also probably like the smaller one. Um, this is such a good rewards program, and together with my birthday gift, I feel pretty spoiled today. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I upload content almost daily, and during the month of July, I've challenged myself to release 31 videos in 31 days. If you'd like to know more about me or my work on cruise ships and piano bars abroad, please go to sarahangelmusic.com. There you can read all about me in blog posts and in an article written in Forbes magazine about me and my life. And you can learn about my new album coming out in just a few short weeks, The Surrender Album. Thank you so much again for coming by my channel. I hope to see you in my next video.